In the vast ocean of web development, frameworks are your lifeboats. They provide structure, reusable codes, and a common method to solve common problems. They make our lives easier by cutting down on repetitive tasks and allowing us to focus on what truly matters, creating something amazing. Now, among these lifeboats, two have made quite a splash, Django and Ruby on Rails. Django, born out of the versatile Python language, is like a Swiss army knife, comprehensive and extensible. On the other hand, Ruby on Rails, an elegant product of the Ruby language, is like a high-speed train, streamlining development with conventions. Both have their strengths, their quirks, and their unique philosophies. But which one is the right one for you, you ask? Well, that's what we're here to find out. So buckle up and get ready for a ride through the history, features, and philosophies of these two web development giants. Our first stop is Lawrence, Kansas, circa 2003. A team of web developers at the Lawrence Journal World newspaper, facing the challenge of managing numerous in-house web applications, decided to create their own framework. This was Django, a Python-based framework named after the jazz guitarist Django Reinhardt. Django was designed to help developers take applications from concept to completion as quickly as possible, a philosophy it still adheres to today. Fast forward two years to 2005, and we find ourselves in Chicago. A young developer named David Heinmeier Hansen, frustrated by the existing frameworks and programming languages, decided to take matters into his own hands. Hence, Ruby on Rails, or simply Rails, was born. Rails was extracted from Hansen's work on the project management tool Basecamp and was designed with a focus on simplicity and productivity. It was a revolutionary idea that favoured convention over configuration a principle that has since become its hallmark. Both Django and Rails have come a long way since their inception. Django, the Python powerhouse, has grown into a robust, scalable and versatile framework used by some of the biggest names in the tech industry like Instagram and Pinterest. On the other hand, Rails, the Ruby revolutionizer, has become an industry standard in its own right, powering websites like Airbnb and GitHub. Despite their different origins and philosophies, both Django and Rails have made a significant impact on the world of web development. They have simplified the process of building complex web applications, empowering developers to create more with less. With their historical roots in mind, we can better appreciate the language base of Django and Rails. Language isn't just for humans. Even web frameworks have their own preferred tongues. And oh boy, aren't Django and Rails quite the polyglots? We're talking about Python and Ruby here. If you've ever dabbled in Django, you'd know Python is its backbone. This language is as straightforward as it gets. It's like that friend who always tells it as it is. No frills, no fuss. It's easy to read, easy to write, and most importantly, easy to understand. This simplicity and versatility make Python a gem for beginners and seasoned developers alike. It's a charmer, really, but Django doesn't just stop at Python's simplicity. It harnesses Python's powerful features to provide a comprehensive set of tools for web development. So while Python is busy being easy to use, Django is there, working tirelessly in the background, ensuring you have everything you need for your project. On the other hand, we have Rails, the darling of Ruby. Ruby is quite the artist. It's expressive, elegant and flexible. It's like a beautiful sonnet that just flows, making coding feel less like work and more like creating a masterpiece. It's not just about getting the job done. It's about how beautifully you can do it. Rails takes Ruby's elegance and wraps it in a powerful framework that prioritizes convention over configuration. It's like Ruby's older, wiser cousin who knows the best way to do things and isn't afraid to guide you. It's a mentor, a guide and a tool, all rolled into one. But don't let their differences fool you. Both Python and Ruby are object-oriented, dynamic and high-level languages. They're like two sides of the same coin, each with its own charm and strengths. These languages are the lifeblood of Django and Rails, but their philosophical approaches breathe life into web development. Every framework has a philosophy, a way of seeing the world. Let's explore Django's and Rails' worldviews. Django, with its Pythonic roots, 
adheres to the philosophy of being comprehensive and extensible. It aims to provide all the tools necessary for web development out of the box. Django's creators wanted it to be a framework that doesn't make developers reinvent the wheel, but rather provides them with a robust set of components to build upon. It's like a fully loaded toolbox, with a tool for every job and the ability to add more if needed. This comprehensive approach means Django comes packed with features, from an ORM to an admin interface to authentication and more. It's a buffet of web development tools all in one place. Django also values extensibility, ensuring that developers can customize and extend these components as needed. It's a framework that says, here's everything you might need, take what you want, change what you don't like, and if you need something more, feel free to add on. On the other hand, Rails, born from the expressiveness of Ruby, adheres to a different philosophy. It streamlines development with conventions, cutting down on the decisions developers have to make. Rails philosophy is often summed up as convention over configuration. It's like a ready-made meal. Everything is prepared and arranged for you, and you just have to heat it up. This principle means Rails has sensible defaults and conventions that guide developers, reducing the amount of boilerplate code and decisions they have to make. It's about making assumptions that work in most cases, so developers can focus more on application logic and less on setup. Rails says, we've made some choices for you based on what typically works. You can focus on crafting your application and if you need to, you can change the defaults. These philosophies shape Django and Rails, but how do they perform under pressure? Performance isn't just for athletes, web frameworks also need to deliver. So let's talk about how these frameworks handle the rigors of high traffic situations and large scale applications. Django, the Python powerhouse, approaches scalability with the precision of a master chess player. The idea is simple. If you're expecting a high volume of traffic, Django is engineered to handle it. This is largely thanks to its ability to cache dynamic content. Essentially, Django can remember and reuse parts of your website, reducing the time it takes to load. Furthermore, Django's database layer is a model of efficiency. It uses an Object Relational Mapping System, or ORM for short, which allows developers to interact with their database like they would with SQL. In other words, Django's ORM allows you to speak to your database as if it were a close friend. This leads to an efficient conversation, which in turn means your application can scale smoothly as traffic increases. Now let's turn our attention to Rails. Rails has a reputation for being highly scalable and is not all talk. The secret source? A little thing called the active record. This is Rails' take on the ORM system, and it makes for a very scalable framework. Active Record simplifies database interactions, turning them into easy to understand Ruby code. Imagine having a translator that turns complex legal jargon into everyday language. That's Active Record for you. However, Rails also has a secret weapon for high traffic situations the ability to easily integrate with other services. Need a job queue? Rails can hook up with Sidekick. Want to cache content? Rails can connect with Memcached or Redis. This flexibility means Rails can adapt and scale as per your application's needs. Performance and scalability are crucial, but a supportive community and rich ecosystem can also make or break a framework. The Django community is renowned for its supportive and welcoming ambience. A myriad of developers from every nook and cranny of the globe contribute to its growth, sharing knowledge and resolving queries on platforms like Stack Overflow and GitHub. This collaborative spirit not only strengthens Django's foundation, but also fosters an environment of continuous learning and development. Furthermore, Django's ecosystem is replete with rich libraries. Want to add a dash of machine learning to your web application? Django has a library for that. Looking to streamline user authentication? Django's got you covered. These libraries, crafted by the community, significantly reduce development time and complexity. On the other side of the fence, we have Rails, boasting an equally vibrant community. Rails developers are known for their passion and commitment to the framework. They pour their heart and soul into enhancing Rails, contributing code, writing tutorials, and even organizing international conferences like RailsConf. 
This robust community support ensures that Rails continues to evolve and thrive in the fast-paced world of web development. Rails also shines in its plugin ecosystem. Gems, as they are fondly called, are small packages of functionality that can be easily integrated into a Rails application. From handling payments with Stripe to managing user roles with CanCanCan, Can Can, Rails Gems cater to a wide array of development needs. This rich plugin ecosystem, coupled with the community's dedication, makes Rails a compelling choice for many developers. In essence, both Django and Rails come with a strong backing of communities and ecosystems that continually push the boundaries of what's possible with these frameworks. They stand as a testament to the power of collective effort in shaping the future of web development. A thriving community and ecosystem are invaluable, but how easy are Django and Rails to learn and use? Learning a new framework shouldn't be like climbing Mount Everest. Django, with its Python base, is like a friendly guide on your journey into web development. Python's inherent readability and simplicity make Django an approachable choice for beginners. The framework's batteries-included philosophy ensures you have all the tools you need right out of the box. This can be a relief for newcomers who might otherwise feel overwhelmed by the need to find and integrate various libraries. But don't mistake Django's friendliness for a lack of depth. Like a well-written novel, Django has layers. It's easy to pick up, but offers plenty of complexity and power for those willing to dive deeper. Django's comprehensive documentation is a treasure trove of knowledge, patiently waiting for those eager to explore. Now let's turn our attention to Rails. Ruby on Rails, despite its reputation for having a steeper learning curve, has a charm of its own. Rails believes in the principle of convention over configuration. This means that once you grasp the conventions, you'll find a well-paved path ahead. You won't have to make countless decisions about the structure of your application. Rails has already done that for you. But climbing the Rails mountain can be challenging. It's not just about learning Ruby. It's about learning the Rails way. Yet, once you've conquered the peak, you'll find a framework that's both elegant and powerful, allowing you to build complex applications with ease. There's no denying that both Django and Rails have their quirks and challenges. The learning curve may be steeper with Rails, but it's a rewarding climb. Django, on the other hand, offers a gentle slope with a rich landscape to explore. In the end, it's not about which framework is easier or harder. It's about finding the right tool for your needs, your goals, and yes, your comfort. While ease of use is important, it's also enlightening to look at some real-world applications of Django and Rails. Let's dive into some real-world examples where Django and Rails have proven their mettle. Django, the Python powerhouse, has been the backbone of numerous high-profile websites. One of the most notable is Instagram, the popular photo-sharing platform. Django's scalability and efficiency have allowed Instagram to handle massive traffic and data. The Washington Post, another big name, uses Django to manage and publish its vast repository of news articles, proving Django's suitability for content-heavy applications. On the other side of the ring, we have Rails. If you've ever used Airbnb to book a vacation home or GitHub to collaborate on software projects, you've interacted with Rails. Airbnb's seamless user experience and GitHub's robust version control system are testaments to Rails' flexibility and power. But it's not just about the big names. Django and Rails have also powered countless small-scale projects and startups. Django's extensibility has made it a favorite among developers building custom solutions. While Rails' convention over configuration philosophy has helped startups get their ideas off the ground quickly. Consider Eventbrite, a global ticketing platform. They chose Django because of its maturity and robustness. Django allowed them to build complex, reliable systems to handle ticket sales for events of all sizes. Then there's Shopify, an e-commerce giant that started as a small startup. They used Rails for its rapid development capabilities, allowing them to launch quickly and scale up as demand grew. These success stories highlight the strengths of each framework. Django, with its comprehensive toolkit and scalability, excels in large-scale, data-intensive applications. Rails, with its emphasis on speed and simplicity, shines in customer-focused applications where rapid development is key. 
However, a framework's success isn't just about its capabilities. It's also about how well it fits with the project's requirements and the team's expertise. That's why it's important to consider all aspects from performance and scalability to community support and ease of use when choosing a framework. These success stories showcase the capabilities of Django and Rails, but how secure are these frameworks? In the world of web development, security isn't an option, it's a necessity. And when it comes to security, both Django and Rails have their shields up. Let's start with Django, the Python powerhouse. Django is armed with a robust set of security features. It's designed to help developers avoid many common security mistakes such as cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery, and SQL injection. Django's middleware takes care of these threats by implementing a vast range of protection measures. It's like having a personal bodyguard for your code, always on watch, always ready to step in. Django also boasts a clickjacking protection, which prevents attackers from hijacking clicks on a legitimate site. And then there's Django's secure password handling. You know passwords, those pesky strings of characters we often forget. Django uses the PBKDF2 algorithm by default to store passwords, which is a fancy way of saying it's really, really secure. Rails is no slouch when it comes to security either. It has a strong emphasis on secure development practices. Rails encourages developers to use built-in form helpers and active record to prevent cross-site scripting and SQL injection attacks. Rails also has a built-in mechanism for handling sessions, which is a crucial aspect of web security. It's like a bouncer at a club, checking IDs and making sure everyone who's in should actually be in. Moreover, Rails uses the bcrypt hashing function for storing passwords securely. Bcrypt, if you're not familiar, is a password hashing function designed by Niels Provos and David Maziers. It's a bit like a digital blender for your passwords, making them almost impossible to unscramble. Both Django and Rails also have active communities that regularly contribute to improving security, providing patches for vulnerabilities and keeping the frameworks up to date with the latest security practices. Security is paramount, but what does the future hold for Django and Rails? Well, that's a story for the next scene. Until then, keep your code secure, my friends. Now let's forecast the future prospects of Django and Rails. Let's start with Django. As Python continues to slither its way into various fields, from data science to artificial intelligence, Django is expected to evolve alongside it. The beauty of Django is that it grows with Python. As Python expands its reach, the capabilities of Django as a web development framework also broaden. We foresee Django continuing to focus on its comprehensive and extensible approach, providing developers with a framework that is both flexible and robust. And with Python's rising popularity, it's safe to say that Django's future is looking bright. Now let's turn our crystal ball towards Rails. Rails has always been about adapting and setting trends rather than following them. As the web development landscape continues to change, Rails is expected to keep pace, evolving and adapting to new trends. The future of Rails is likely to involve further refining its convention over configuration philosophy making it even easier for developers to create complex web applications with less code. It's not a stretch to say that Rails will continue to be a trendsetter in the world of web development. But let's not forget one crucial fact. Neither Django nor Rails is a magic wand that can solve all your web development woes. Each has its strengths and weaknesses and the right choice depends on your specific needs and circumstances. So if you're a Python enthusiast who values flexibility and control, Django might just be your perfect match. But if you're all about that Ruby life and prefer convention over configuration, Rails could be the one for you. Choosing a framework isn't like picking a favorite color. It requires careful consideration. So let's recap. Django, the Python powerhouse, is all about comprehensive solutions and extensibility. Its simplicity and versatility are its hallmarks, and its approach to high-traffic solutions is commendable. Meanwhile, Rails, the Ruby revolutionary, is known for its elegance, expressiveness, and its philosophy of streamlining development with conventions. Its robust plug-in ecosystem and prioritization of secure development make it a worthy contender. Both have supportive communities, rich libraries, and have been deployed in notable applications. Django might be easier to get started with for some, but mastering Rails could be a more interesting challenge. As for future prospects, 
Django evolves with Python, while Rails adapts to new web trends. Remember, the best framework is the one that meets your needs and helps you create amazing web applications. Now go forth and conquer the world of web development.